I'm flying FPV on a spatial computer and it looks amazing. Even the DJI has no clue how to make a decent pair of FPV goggles or especially a mixed reality ones for the future. So I'm flying the Power 20 with matching 3S batteries from Beta FPV. I have even brought this tiny USB-C power charger to match my whole tiny setup. And the new Power 20 is definitely more powerful with a bigger 3S battery now. The drone flies pretty well. But the problem is the image quality in my DJI goggles. I mean, these are getting pretty outdated by now. I have been playing VR this winter. And you can instantly spot a huge difference between the VR and DJI goggles. And I'm not even talking about these prescription lenses, which I use all from Hans VR for all my headsets. I will leave the links and promo codes in the video description. I'm talking about the huge size difference between the lens. Big lenses makes viewing way more comfortable and a modern VR screen with high resolution simply runs cycles around the outdated screens DJI use in VR goggles. And I have made a whole video how DJI goggles 2 are even worse by making the new lenses even smaller as goggles 3 leaks seems like the same joke. It has pass-through cameras now, those are not going to work because the DJI has no experience and even idea how to do the mixed reality thing. And of course DJI will not allow to simply use the DJI Fly app on any Android VR goggles like from Meta or Pico. And I did try both. The DJI Fly app can be subloaded and goggles can be connected but they will simply not display the camera view. Even the same DJI Fly app works just fine on my smartphone, so I can mirror my phone screen to the headset, and it works. But it is so hard to fly because of a tiny delay when using CarePlay to mirror the smartphone screen to the headset. I'm technically flying on a VR goggles right now, but delay makes it very hard and not really practical. So it would be freaking amazing if DJI would allow using the DJI Fly app on the headset directly. Pico did comment that they allow Android apps and video input on the headset, so it's only up to the DJI to fix the camera feed. Same with Meta headsets, we just added smartphone Android app support, and it is clearly the future. These mixed reality headsets clearly do offer a superb viewing experience. It is a sunny or cloudy day, I can see the whole FPV screen so well. I can make the screen exact size I want. And I think we just need to bug the DJI about fixing the DJI Fly app and adding the video support for both Pico and Meta headsets. Cause I'm not buying the goggles free for sure if we are not offering anything even close to this. As there is simply no way going back to the DJI FPV goggles after seeing the proper video quality available. And this is not simply streaming HD video to the VR headset. The headset is running AI upscaling and it's running much higher resolution screens. So the video feed looks more like a camera recording than a low quality live video feed. And what do you think? Should DJI allow? fly up on the Quest and Pico type headsets, leave your comment below and check all product links and promos in the video description too. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one.